Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn how to use the pen tool in Photopea. The pen tool, the pen tool is down below the text tool, and it can be used for a couple of different things. The first thing, and I think by default, it will tell you that you can make a shape. Okay, we're not going to use it to make shapes today, so I'm just going to show you what they're talking about as far as making shapes. If I go over to the very end and I lock it in, we now have a shape, a shape layer, by the way. We talked about text tools being a different type of layer. You can also have shape layers, which are different than pixel layers. You can rasterize them if you want to turn them into pixel layers. Okay, but we're not going to create shapes today. Just know that that's available. What we are going to do is create a path. So we need to change this setting up here to path. Everything else doesn't really matter at this point. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool to create a selection and we're going to copy and paste this house and the rug that I put in front of it. It doesn't look very good, so I, but I put a little rug in front of it because I wanted you to have to create curves using the pen tool. Okay, so what I like to do with the pen tool is to zoom way in and really learn to use that space bar and the hand tool so you can move around your canvas. But if I go grab the pen tool now and I start making a selection, you'll see that it sort of creates what really we call an anchor point here. And we're going to use that and continue clicking and continue using that hand tool to move around the canvas. And anytime you see a straight line, you don't have to click a bunch of times. You can just go down here to the end of where that straight line um, finishes and start creating some new lines and I'm going to make it a little jagged down here technically we should make that a little bit round but I want to reserve the round part of this selection for that rug that I put in here again we have a straight line going straight down here to the corner of the house now I'm going to go all the way to where that rug comes in we're going to click here now this gets a little bit tricky and I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit more and to zoom in I just held down alt and rolled my mouse middle mouse button forward to zoom in and what we want to do with this pen tool is we want to left click hold and drag in the direction that we want to make the selection you can see as we do that it creates a nice curve so i'm going to create one anchor point that's rounded there and i don't expect this to be perfect especially for you first time users of the pen tool but then i'm going to create another one right here and drag to the left now, i always drag towards where i'm going to make my set my next anchor point i'm going to drag that until we get a decent selection um, if you hold down shift while you're dragging it will keep that anchor point or excuse me those handles in a straight line okay i let go of the mouse button now now i'm going to come up here to the very edge create another one and again i'm going to hold down shift to go straight up and what i'm looking at is trying to get this curve to match the edge of the rug and now i'm going to go over here and that looks pretty good i'm not going to drag that because every time we drag we create a little round part of the path when we just click it creates an abrupt change in direction or a sharp change in direction so now i think i'll just go straight over here even though we get some of that ground there and then i'm going to go up again another straight line until we get to this here straight up here it gets a little hard to see what's going on back there with these pixels so i'm just going to sort of make things up go to the corner here and then up here and then we want to get back to the starting point and click on that first anchor point and we're done so now we have a nice path <coughs> excuse me created around the house and the rug and you won't really see anything happen in your layers window what you need to look at is your paths window so right now we have what's called a work path all right and we want to turn this work path into a selection so all we have to do is go down here to this icon down here and it'll say selection this will give you another option i'm going to go make a selection then go back to my layers make sure i'm in the right layer i'm going to feather this by a pixel so select modify feather okay and then i'm just going to control c and control v so i'm going to copy and paste so control c control v and we have that house cut out in another layer. And what I want you to do to finish this little activity up is I wanted you to make that house super small and put it down here on the ground out front. So now I'm in my second layer. I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, grab the top left little square, 
And as I drag, I want to hold down shift. Always very important to hold down shift, okay, to keep the proportions the same. If you don't, you're going to squash and stretch, and I cannot stand squash and stretch. That's rule number two in my class, all right? No squashing and stretching. Rule number one is never scale an image up. Okay, always scale down. So I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to make it super small. I can again go back to my hand tool because I can't see it. And now we're going to lock that in. Click the check mark. And I'm just going to get my move tool and move it to a different space, maybe down here. It looks sort of silly, but I want you to get used to using that free transform tool um, and holding down shift while you are scaling down. And now we need to flatten this. So again, right click on your layer. Go to Flatten Image, save it as a JPEG, not a PSD file today. Save, export as JPEG, and always have high quality, 100%, save. And now in your new folder, you should have created Photo P10. I'm going to name it. Again, I'm in the make-believe period of period 8, underscore 08, Harley J. And I'm just going to call this Pen 01 and save that out and then you need to go find that submit it to google classroom and you're done for the day so that's the pin tool